all the time. Oh, you got me? Good morning EMC family and as we start another docile Saturday walk let us start with a prayer for peace serenity love blessings understanding as the Sun peeks through the clouds God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change the courage to change the things that I can and the wisdom to know the difference your will, not mine, be done. Amen. Good morning, everyone. It's so wonderful to see you on. And I hope you've been enjoying just hearing the sea come in. It's, it's just been beautiful. It's so soft. Even how the waves are breaking out there in the distance has been amazing. It's been quiet and reflective of what a docile Saturday should be. And then when it hits the shores, it's just a 
little clap that says, oh, here I am, welcoming the new dawn. So the first thing I'm gonna do for you is a 360 of love. Hi. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and here we are. We're starting at our usual ending spot this morning. We're starting at the beach because I thought when we slipped down here a couple of minutes before we were to start, we thought, oh my gosh, look how beautiful down here it was. And we thought we start down here this morning for you as we get the beginning rays of a new day and Oh, taking the lovely fresh air and breathing in. I'm here taking all these deep breaths for you guys. It is so serene and calm and the waves are just saying, come in the water, come in the water. So we'll get there eventually. But first I get to talk to you guys non-stop. Hope I don't hurt your ears this morning. And I hope you enjoy all that I have to share. Of course, as you know, I am working with the Docile family crew. So which Mary and Cheryl our silky chair leader and Kim is back again for another week she's enjoying it okay so and, uh, I'm interrupting one brief second because I've been asked to make a special announcement that we want to be a part of and Mr. Anderson Aileen out of Canada has asked me to wish his great aunt um, let me see it is Esme Esme uh -huh, Esme I mean, Williams yeah. Uh -huh. 101 years celebration today so oh happy happy birthday to her we don't usually do celebrations but when you get the 101 you deserve a oh yeah day. definitely so announcements happy birthday to you from all of us yes wonderful of course you know who that is <laughs> our noisy leader nicholas starting quietly so we hope that this will be the beginning of it just like that of course uh, but the good behavior could only last for so long people that was less than 20 seconds and he goes into his usual Nicholas Dean moment <laughs> and here is Wesley Spice <laughs> and look Dimitri Dimitri is here with me I am like totally off the wall this morning he is fully well slowly becoming fully awake he just came out Dimitri. of the gym as you can see. Look how he's all puffed yes. up. Look. You know, I don't see Deep any more. inflatable things on you, so I know you were in the gym this morning. <laughs> I saw you do only pull ups here on this bar just to let everyone on here know. Okay. And I have proof. <laughs> see, and he's flexing the muscles, girls. He's flexing the muscles. Oh. Just showing us. Flexing the muscles. <laughs> I'm exercising. What, what, what's his name? His name is Dimitri. Dimitri. And known as AKA. The Land Shark. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, morning, Mary. Short Sherry Love. <laughs> and we have, and I know she's she's gonna stop, see? She's now so well trained that she has stopped immediately. <laughs> Good job, Nicole. Good morning, Cheryl and Kim. Good morning. Yes, so we are all here and we are gonna I'm take you. To wake up. Did you try to wake up? <laughs> I know the feeling. I Oh yes, I should say, I, since I know the feeling, so you can see that I'm here. 
good morning everybody it is just a beautiful morning look at that sea isn't that fantastic minus Nicholas Dean of course minus Nicholas Dean but look at that isn't that just fantastic so we are gonna have a fabulous day of history love and EMC gatherings I hope you enjoyed it as much as I'm gonna share I hope you will enjoy it such a camera hog yes Nicholas I'm Olympic whenever you hear Nicholas talk about me on Fridays I am Olympic trained by Nicholas Dean so anything I do is all on Boss, him all there, on man. him yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. instructor <laughs> so this morning we're at the back of um, coconut court so we walk down some lovely stairs which we have to now walk back up this is going to be fun to, I'm going to record a video um, so that you can see where we're starting so if I get a little out of breath bear with me you know Nick, Nicholas likes to make sure that afterwards I have I've done a marathon <laughs> though we are choosing these well I should say I'm choosing these locations <laughs> and he is going along with me so but he keeps showing me all these little hidden treasures so right next to coconut court there's a pathway that takes you up to highway 7 and believe it or not we are going to walk up this pathway up these stairs so i am glad that you've been enjoying the blogs on, on saturday mornings um it's tons of fun sharing with you with the history of the different places in barbados especially along this hastings walk that we're going to be doing this morning wow you imagine we have to go up here so if i get a little quiet you know it's because i need my breath oh, we're at the top okay <clears throat> and we are on Highway 7, the beautiful historic garrison, still part of, down that end, in the distance, the building, the newest building with the red roof is the new police station, Coconut Court is on your left, and a couple of restaurants are on your right but the building that we first want you to see is somebody left my bag oh sorry sorry about everybody i was just making sure that my bag was brought <laughs> and the happiness but the military hospital in front of us was built in eight between 1803 and 1806 and it got damaged in the 1831 hurricane like a lot of buildings did in those days and it was restored in the 1840s and then afterwards was um, it was put into apartments then at one stage it was bought over by the government and and we and uh, and then it was turned into it was gonna be like a a conference hall but I don't think too much came of that but the original hospital was down by the garrison in Bushel where we were just on that corner last Saturday morning and when they outgrew that they came to this location they know you're not able to. and good morning and oh my gosh I hope you're seeing that sunrise as we cross over we're gonna soon cross over but later on today, I, someone was kind enough to send me a picture of this road, most probably in the 1800s. And the curve of the road is the same, but the buildings are different. So as soon as I get a chance, I will put that up for you. But just look at that beautiful sunrise, isn't that? Lovely, yes. So let's cross now. Dimitri's being our walking guard this morning. <laughs> making sure that we move together because this highway can get fairly busy courtyard by marriott's are now here the buzu restaurant 
a bozo, bozo, but lovely restaurant, lovely food here. Yes. Yes. As we walk up further, this set of buildings also was part of the military hospital. Because that's the sad thing about war. Um, sometimes countries get into wars and have to fight them, but people get hurt. And some people never have a productive life again. You know, and, um, some people never get back to their homelands and, and, th and that's all sadly part of the casualty of war. Um, as I was preparing for this last night, I remember this song by Tom Jones, The Green Green Grass of Home. And that's what it talks about. Someone who's passed away, went to war, passed away, and in their mind they're thinking, I'm coming home live, but in essence, when they open their eyes, they're just dreaming they're in a casket. And so, sorry, you know, it's really sad, but that is part of the casualty of war. People get sick. So, this set of buildings, not only was it part of the military hospital, but it was also housing, living housing, for the doctors and the nurses. And I'm hoping that you are hearing, because I'm going to drop my voice the birds singing among these trees and this building just like the other buildings this became more residential in the 70s with some businesses in here as well and so when we were down by the general hospital remember I talked about the fact that the old general hospital could be revitalized this way because look how this has you know been maintained and has given a new life and you still see all the historic structure of these buildings you know can you not see all the all the yeah just think about all the nurses and the doctors and the military people up and down these stairs looking at different things utilizing these structures and there's a quiet serenity here you know <laughs> not today <laughs> but this is this is just so beautiful and so neat and these buildings are over 200 years old because they were rebuilt in the 18 in the 1840s because the 1831 hurricane as I said really destroyed a lot of buildings I suppose if we had the the scale in those days it most probably would have been a category 5 because churches lost their roofs tons of homes stopped some buildings were pushed down and rebuilt and I think out of that came our structure again of how roofs were done to withstand hurricanes because of that hurricane and you can look at these streets and see how old they are and they're still standing and you know and they tell a different story but you almost have to drop your voice because well it's also still a residential area so people are sleeping this early Saturday morning it's only us that are up but the whole ambiance of this location calls for us to be quiet to be silent to you know to hear to hear the beauty of the morning so to me if we could just you know, if this could be done to the general hospital, it would make me so happy. So that's a healing environment more yeah. than the hospital is now. Correct. This is a much more healing. Then we, environment. I agree, Mary. And like Mary saying, this is very healing. This is just amazing. And I think that's why there's a Reiki, a Reiki um, person in this, and a chiropractor. Yes. 
Yes, because this whole setting is so serene. So we have stayed long enough because we have to remember that persons are, this is still no residential area and people are sleeping. But these old buildings, look at this one too. They're not just beautiful, I must say. If I didn't live where I live, which is also beautiful and serene too, I would definitely move in here because although we are on Highway 7, when we walk back out on the main, you will see how noisy Highway 7 is. When you step in here, it's like an oasis in the midst of urbanness. It's just so peaceful. So, we are back out. We're going to hit back on Highway 7 and we're going to go up the corner and we have a surprise. We hope that that lady who's, who requested this is on this morning. Of course, you know that once I have the gimbal in my hand, the name has gone to me. But I am sure that in my comments later on, I will acknowledge. So, come there, friends. <laughs> I'm sure that they didn't see me move out. So, i sure you remember a couple of months ago, Nick did a blog, a long hair morning walk, long hair, where we went into the surf shop and met the owner. And um, he was really great and funny. And he was sharing how he has a lovely surf school and how long he's been doing this. And it's just lovely. All along here, one has to be very careful. Yes, it's a bit noisy, but it's also a bit of um, morning, good morning. Yeah, noisy. And the sidewalk is it's very slim. So I'm going to stop for two seconds, let the others catch up. They're like, they don't even realize I've gone. You imagine that? They're not even missing me. But look at that sunrise. Isn't that sunrise beautiful? It's peeking up against, huh? It is. Yes. It, yes, correct. Any day, this gentleman just said, any day that you can see the sunrise, it is just beautiful. And this is amazing. Enjoy the day. You too, sir. You too. Isn't that beautiful? They now realize I've left them. I can hear noisy Nicholas Dean coming. I don't even have to look around. So I was telling the others about your friend. Oh yes, Russell. Russell. Russell I couldn't remember yeah, yeah. Russell's name, but yeah, I do Russell. remember the morning that we went inside the surf shop and how lovely oh, yeah. that was. Yeah. See? He remembers names people when he isn't holding the gimbal. I hear that. <laughs> so we're moving again. Isn't this beautiful? Just totally serene. Well, except for the occasional car, but and um, you know this road has changed so much because at first it used to be a lot of vacation homes. There's still vacation stays and all that, but um, it would have been more homes and people, you know, living here. And then as as it became more of our commercial district, it changed because of this proximity to Bridgetown. You know, it made sense in those days when you got off of a ship in Bridgetown to then be um, using a horse and buggy and come up here and stay at one of the guest houses up here because you're right next to the seashore, you know, the beauty and ambience of this area. So we're going to enjoy some more of it this morning. Look at that little open window to the sea look at that good morning that little window open window to the sea once the mini buses that everything start stop moving is that lovely and so we're going around the corner 
and we're going into St. Matthias. Yes. And we're going to visit the St. Matthias Church. So we had a request last week. Someone said, I would like to hear more about the churches. And um, because we're coming up and we're sharing more of the historic garrison, we thought we'd share with you St. Matthias Church. And St. Matthias Church is unique in that um, when the British was here, there was no church, there was no chapel or anything like that within the garrison. And therefore they had to find a look. They had to find um, somewhere to, you know, to pray and all that. So this land that St. Matthias is on, was donated by John Mears in 1837. He was the um, clerk of the House of Assembly and he was also the chief builder of the church. Um, it was supposed to be just a chapel of ease, but I think because the area with the um, beach, good morning, I'm fine and you? Good, Good, wonderful. So, because this whole area, uh, the seaside, had a lot of sea homes and prominent guest houses, um, what was supposed to be a small church on this location became a big church. And um, it took a little longer to consecrate the church because there was all this discussion and back and forth and all sorts of things about what would happen so the church was never consecrated until August 2nd 1950 and inside of it they have flags up on the balconies they do services on a Wednesday morning and then again yeah and then again at 9 um, 7 30 and then at sun on Sundays it's 7 30 and 8 45 but this church became the um, final resting place for 16 officers and one chief officer who passed away sadly from yellow fever. They were on the HM Dauntless that left St. Thomas in November, on November 10th, 1852. And by the time they entered the waters of Carlisle Bay Harbor, these 17 individuals had passed. And they were interned here and then Sadly, after that, by the time the boat left us in March of 1853, the yellow fever pandemic started in Barbados and it wiped out so many people and so many families. And um, because this church was so close to the garrison, because if I pan back, you can see there what would be in the back of the hospital where we were just a couple of minutes ago. So therefore you would have almost just walk across here. Because of the close proximity, what happened was that at first the British forces would pay 75 pounds a year for the use of the chapel so that they could have services, so that if officers would get him married or someone passed, that um, they would they would um, be able to, um, they would be able to, sorry, I was about, they would, would be buried or whatever. So the British Army at first paid $75, 75 pounds a year for the use of that. And as time went on, the church and the British garrison and then the Barbados Defense Force and our, our um, league here became part part of each other so 
any the priest whoever is the rector here at St. Matthias is also the chaplain for the Barbados Defense Force. The two come together because of that long-standing history. The current rector here is Reverend Hugh Sandiford and um, he's a good family friend so hence why I'm strolling these grounds this morning. <laughs> Um, but, um, you know, the, the ambiance and beauty of this church is just amazing and it has been part of the historic garrison and actually I'll show you exactly because here the Barbados National Trust has put up their plaque. Remember I show you this plaque done by the General Hospital and the I Hospital and that's always the symbol of historical interest because it's been here in that same 1840. When you think about all the buildings I've told you about since we've been doing this walk, of all the buildings built during this period, this too was built. Sadly, when the yellow fever epidemic was happening, it had to be closed because, of course, here we are dealing with something like this, and 17 people are interned here. And, of course, the knowledge of how to handle things it was thought deemed safer because the spread was happening and so there were lots of persons who passed. In the last couple of years since he, Father Hugh has been here, he's done a garden of remembrance, which I think is a beautiful thing because as, as you know with many churchyards, you, you're out of space and all of that and so they've set up this beautiful garden of remembrance. It has two or three benches, you can come here and sit and you know if you find out that you have military history and sorry you know we can't go inside I was hoping that the caretaker would be here that we could go inside but if she shows up in time I will try but um, so here they have a lot of spaces for gardens of, of you know family members so if you discover that you have a family member attached or you know, to St. Matthias, by all means, come and, and prescribe to this. But this is just amazing. This is so beautiful, yes. And he's done this in the last two, three years. And it gives a serene quality because sometimes in the history of a churchyard gives us so much information, you know, so much, so much thing. also have another well that garden is just laid out like this one and this one is here again and I believe these are because you you were trying to capitalize on space and all of that you have tons of families who may have been interned in this area and what they have done is you know put the remains in a more seal and put all the plots and the names of those persons on here so I think that's a lovely touch but these tombs in here tell you how old this church is because look at that huh just look at that and you can look at the brickwork and see because the brickwork at the time forms part of the time of the, of the era in which these tombs were built but it is beautifully done you know um, inside is in in very good condition as well and you can see and um, sorry about that everyone Gamble getting happy I will also post you a picture of St. Matthias on this spot with nothing around it it's, it's just amazing to see and these like you know not that we're getting morbid, but we're showing you graves here from 1852. These graves have been here since 1852. And the language, you know, of it. Um, this child, Edward Disney, amazing. And he was in turn here on the 20th of November, 1852 age one year six months and I believe that these may be have yeah 1852 may have been sadly persons who passed on that whole yellow fever epidemic so 
and that beautiful tree it's really lovely in here this time of morning actually it's so serene so that's a little bit of St. Matthias Church um, and like I said they have a midweek service on Wednesdays at 9 30 it's a half an hour service and you can come in I think if I span here, I hope that you can get to see the inside of the church. If not, I think I can see it, but you might see the reflection off of the glass, right? Sorry. So yeah, inside is beautiful, well maintained. So on Wednesdays, they have a 930 service, half an hour service. If you're in this area, in this Hastings area, you can come and see it. Or on Sunday mornings, they have a 730 Seven o'clock mass, sorry, and then eight forty-five. And inside on the walls, they have a picture of the HM dot list. They have similar plaques, you know, remembering those who pass. And these grounds are being very well maintained because they're so serene at this time of morning. Yeah. So. And so, like I said, the rector who is ever is the rector in the stall of St. Matthias is also the chaplain for the Barbados Defense Force as well. It's not beautiful. I'll see if um, another Saturday morning I can link up with the um, caretaker and she'll open up and let us see. But also on the ground of this memorial for those officers who lost their lives are their names, their last names done. And so this whole area, let me go over. And of course, we all understand the significance of why this is a tomb, why it's gated, why um, nothing can ever be touched here because it's yellow fever. And so those grounds have become sacred. We have a, several of them in, in Barbados. One I know is at Sharon Moravian Church. They also have a, a cholera ground as well. There's one in St. George, um, near the St. George Parish Church as well. Um, there's one, I believe, down by the Spring Garden or the Mighty Griner Highway as well, because the epidemic was just, just so much, yes, that we've lost, we lost so many people during that period. And so... They were interned all together and those grounds can never, they're marked because they can never be open. So this morning I want to do a small shout out thank you to Reverend Sandiford and the Congregation and Council, Church Council of St. Matthias for allowing us this little walkthrough. So if anybody who knows Reverend Sandiford, I'll send it to him as well. But, or you have friends who go to St. Matthias, you can tag them and say, look, EMC took you here this morning. Isn't that beautiful? And one more beautiful view of the church. And so they've cleaned it. And so you're seeing the original coral stone, the windows, the brick formation. And I believe they also have a clock that chimes as well. Yes, they have a clock that chimes, yes. I have no idea what time we're at. I think we're after, Mary, are we after seven? Yes, we are 7.07. 7.07, okay. So we would have needed eight more minutes to hear. I think it does the quarter chime, but I believe the chime is the same that we heard <laughs> at St. Patrick's Cathedral and at the garrison.
But as I showed you earlier, there is the back of those lovely apartments that we just came from. And this, all of this in front of it would not have been there in the 1800s. So it would have been a straight walk from there here to the church. And hence why the association started. So now we're going to take you a little further up Hastings and see some more scenery. I'm just surprised that Nicholas is so quiet. I am so thankful to the real boss. Jeanette Edge, who keeps him in line on Saturday mornings. No trouble, no mischief. He can't do anything that he wants to do. He'll try and get away, but she keeps him in check because she has the strike one. And she makes sure that all he's doing is taking pictures and laughing and talking. Can't give any trouble at all, at all, at all. So all the smack that he talks about me on Fridays and says that I... I'm not caring and all of that. That is not true. Just look at this face. Could this face not be caring? This face is so loving. So I don't know what is he talking about. Yes, cannot be. So don't mind anything that he says about me. Not true. So this is so beautiful and it's quiet and serene this morning except for the minivans who up and down um, either than that it's just so beautiful and so serene so we're gonna take you yes I agree the yellow fever um, yeah, the yellow fever would have been worse than COVID-19 because we had technology on our side where information could be re relayed, where governments can now start putting things in place. And there was an overall dialogue. But you imagine in the 1800s, there's no dialogue that can happen fast enough because everything is by ship. And so by the time you realize what is happening, that ship or what was the carrier of that disease has moved on and in another island and in another island and in another island and you know whole families were lost to that epidemic but you know I think that um, my viewpoint on things like COVID-19 and, and yellow fever and malaria and those things when they happen at the first time that they happened before any preventive medicine can be put in place it is almost as if it um, you're pressing a reset button and I think COVID-19 did that for us we were all on a treadmill we were all moving 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 and we had to stop and slow down and enjoy life a little bit more so what I'm gonna do is take this crossing here because we need to be on the other side of the road for our next stop. I can see that everybody is like paying slow catch up. I think they're still down inside at the church. They're still enjoying that. They're still taking pictures and enjoying the ambiance and scenery of it. I think it's about maybe <laughs> Definitely a 10 second relay before they realize that I have moved on. But yes, I think they're still enjoying and, and capturing that ambience. So you and I are going to continue walking. And as you can see, as the morning comes alive, sunrise is really coming up now. Traffic is moving. People are moving. Get ready for another day. Good morning. And... We are going to take this lovely stroll up to a love, another lovely spot. And this whole area of Hastings, um, they believe that, researchers show that um, because you could have the bathhouses here, there were Hastings bathhouses, there were guest houses here, it reminded the British so much of the coastal town 
in, in England that that's why this area got its name of Hastings and um, like I said its closeness to Bridgetown meant it would um, be easy to get off the ship come up here by horse and buggy stay at a guest house and then leave you know and convalesce or enjoy because they said the cool breezes the wonderful atmosphere here you know caused this area to be one of early settlement and of course with the historic garrison next door if the officers brought their wives and their families or you know family who came to after taking the sea voyage to spend some time with them in Barbados this is where they would come and stay so look at this lovely sunrise Wow, and it's good and noisy, but so beautiful. And so, right here was the um, derelict hotel, and I believe Ocean View was here, and they both have been pushed down. And on the other side of this is a beautiful um, display of local artists paintings for sale and all done on um, PVC board so th that's lovely if you're here you should come and view that you would enjoy it and one of the most beautiful things about Hastings is that you get to see a lot of the older buildings some of them still restored and in excellent condition Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That is so lovely. And I know it costs more to maintain and keep them in, in such excellent condition but the beauty of them is so amazing look at that oh and as the sunrise hits them lovely 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 Okay, I can see that. Woo! Please put on your darker makers. We are definitely now gonna feel the lovely rays and the full blast of this sunrise. I think the others were so enjoying sympathize and that serenity in there that they did not want to move. Because the benches do tell you sit and reflect and um, you know, in memory of all those who have come here on these shores to defend Barbados when they didn't know, you know, you signed up to be an officer in the British Army because it was a vocation, it was a job, it was getting secure money, it was having a pension and then you ended up on shores that you never returned from and you made a life here. Know, and you know you have to thank those persons I know people always say why do governments have to spend so much money in, in um, having defense forces and, and armies and all of that but I find that it's a two-edged sword it they come in handy too when you have things like hurricanes and bad weather situations and pandemics because their military training allows them to be so disciplined that things that need to be carried out, they can do it. You and I will stop and think, why are they stopping me from doing this? And why can't I do this no more? All that. Whereas they understand that it's necessary to protect and defend. And they do what is necessary to help. To help a country rebuild itself and get back on its feet. To all of those who cross these shores in Barbados, 
and their remains are laid to rest in our many churches, we say thank you. Whatever part you played, we thank you, because all of that is part of the development of our country. And Hurricane Janet, when she passed through that year, which was September 21st, I think 1961, anybody could correct me because I was even thought of, I was still in heaven drinking milk and honey. Um, this building, in the pink building, was here and at the end of Hurricane Janet, it had lost all of its front. The balcony that that lady just got up from, the front face of the thing, you could see right into the bedrooms. And there's a picture of that. And that has remained, it was restored and now it is on Saturday mornings, they have a farmer's market here. I believe during the week too, and it has lovely crafts and vegetables and, and it's very nice. Not on the same size as Brighton. It's a smaller, smaller farmer's market, but it's a lovely farmer's market. So if you're here, I think they have it on Wednesdays as well as they have it on Saturday mornings. So if you are in this area and you're in a self-contained unit, you can come here and get vegetables, get crafts, you know, and, and, and enjoy some local scenery. So, okay, my, my dosa walkers are coming. We are now at the beautiful, 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 beautiful Hastings Rocks. And it simply got its name because, of course, it's in the area of Hastings. But there was just rocks here, a massive, massive rock. That's all that was here. And in 1865, Mr. Edward Carpenter, he was a manager of the Colonial Bank. And the Colonial Bank still stands today in Bridgetown. It is the home of what was, what it was before, was Barclays Bank, as we all know it, which is now First Caribbean which is at the top of Broad Street across from K Shepherd. That building has been there since the early 1700s. That's how early we had a banking system in Barbados. So Mr. Edward Carpenter, he was the manager of the Colonial Bank. And he decided to lease this spot in 1865. And it would have been from the war office because all this area would have been part of the would be in charge of the British so it was from the war office that he he um, he leased it from and he got a public subscription to raise funds as as um, um, my research said the way that they said it was to improve an unsightly on, on mass of rock into a level and agreeable esplanade. And that was his dream. That's what was on the subscription. And so people subscribe. And, um, you know, the first thing that happened in raising the funds was that um, this area was beautified and the, the, um, the bandstand was formed. The Barbados Police Band has been playing here since 1900s. In the 60s and 70s, I remember it as an area where you would come to church picnics and fairs. Everybody had a church picnic and fair at the Hastings Rocks. And now today, this morning, I don't have to tell you, I hope you are seeing the amount of people who are out already walking and, and running and exercising. And this is both morning and evening. It still has the most beautiful vista of the of the south coast and that was one of the reasons he um, edward carpenter you know decided that this area needs to be level because he said it had a beautiful vista of the south coast all the way up to the lighthouse so we're going to be going into 
amazing sunrise so put on your darker makers because I'm sure we can we can barely I can barely see it because the, sun, the sunrise is just amazing look at that look at that I hope you have on your darker makers Morning, morning, morning. Hi. 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 I'm a fan of me. Oh, good morning. Good morning. So, who, sorry, sorry, sorry. Your name is Tony? Yes, correct. Okay, great. Thank so, you're you. always on mornings with us? No, I don't come up. I always watch it every day. Okay. Ah, okay. Every day, every day. Wonderful. Day. Wonderful. So, it's nice to meet you in nice person. You. Yeah. So, you're up here walking and exercising? Every morning I come up here. Every morning I set Wednesday. Okay, okay, great. Yes, nice I'm amazed this Saturday morning. Yes, you finally got to see it. So finally nice to meet you too. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. So have a great day and keep that Yes, Bye. yes. So it's not lovely as usual. We get to meet lovely family, but you can see that Edward Carpenter had a vision. And all uh, all people most have saw was all these boulders and why Mr. Carpenter think that something could be here. But thankful to him and his vision. This area now has been beautified by the government. We have this lovely boardwalk that stretches forever. And um, it's still a lovely setting. I think at Christmas time, the police band still comes and plays here. And they hold their concert, yes, somewhere in the first Sunday of December. And people sit along this boardwalk and just enjoy the beauty and the serenity of this location. And so I like to shout out all those Barbadians, you know, all those persons who come here and make Barbados some home and play their part because I am sure that you, you know, I am thankful to Mr. Carpenter because this is such a lovely vista. It now with the lovely enhanced boardwalk families, Older couples come and relax, lovers hold hands and walk and stroll. But just look at that. And I'm going to be quiet and give you a beautiful 360 of love. Wow, and the sun is fully up now, you know, showing us all her love. The breeze is fantastic, people. The waves are calming. The sea is rolling in. It is just spectacular. And these breathtaking views. Pray that you get to come home this year and join us on these Dosa Sahani mornings. It is just a joy to do this for you guys. Left to me, I would spend the entire day right here. And of course, you know that this is Blakey's, which is right here as well. So Blakey's is part of it. And that building has been there too for as long as I know myself, which was in the last 20, 30 years, <laughs> no more than that. But that building was always there. It was always something small, like a little house or office, but then it grew into more and now it's the home of Blakey's. And all these lovely benches around here, you can sit and relax and just feel the breeze. So. Mr. Carpenter had a vision, and thanks to his vision, you know, we have kept it and maintained it, and it has grown from strength to strength. So, yes, you'll be here soon, whoever said that. 
we look forward to seeing you guys when you come home please please come and share the love you see how these ladies are just bring here coffee. yeah we're bring coffee <laughs> but but you see how these ladies are just sitting and talking and sharing the love i don't know where dimitri gone but they are just having a grand time and i'm stopping for two seconds just to sit and enjoy the breeze underneath these mild trees and just relax told you we have moved um, our office our office has gone mobile so actually we're just up and around the corner yeah, yeah, from just, here just actually 300 yards just from, from east here. Of where we are right so chill on, on this grill. same chill on the grill on and you're coming same. tomorrow right Nicole? yes i am yeah i'm catch you on camera you're yes, coming tomorrow I Nicole, am right? coming okay, tomorrow <laughs> reverse our camera so i can catch you on camera saying it oops oh. no 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 this time this but oh, right yeah one awesome just um let me capture this on camera. Nicole, you're coming tomorrow. I am coming tomorrow. Please. Evidence. I will Everyone, be there. come and return and tomorrow. You come to the boardwalk and then you just walk along the boardwalk. You will catch us there. Well, you're you're Behave taking out the focus. Good. Okay, Sorry. Good, good. Yeah, you are, I was, focused? Yeah, it was You I know, this focus is so much better for me. <laughs> <laughs> I have looked forward to doing that to Nicole's team for so long. <laughs> I caught him full blast, everybody. Ha <laughs> ha. So. I know, but I'm a lovely annoying. Yeah, yeah. He can, you know what I mean? Really when you hear him talk smart about me on Fridays, it's because he misses me so much. So. Smart? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I thought that was a word. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, everybody, I think I'm on the hour. Am I not on the hour? Oh, okay. Yes, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, you want to Oh, I, okay. okay. Nicole, you realize that Nicole okay, no is your, your Everyone that's viewing this right. vlog, please pause because you're in this picture as well. Let's go for it. <laughs> so he's taking a picture of us, everybody. So wherever you are, pose. <laughs> oh, how come we're not going to Crystal Wars? We thought that would be nice to, to give other, um, yeah, other um, vendors, other people, other businesses you know that opportunity because sometimes because the walkers may because the waters may be easy for some to get to but if we go to something other other bars or locations along the same coastline you know and west coast, and west coast, coast and yes North you would also be able to come because somebody may be staying at you know in this Hastings area and it's an easier commute to get to than get on a minibus and going to crystal waters and then the the the, the different aspects of seeing sunset at different locations so all of that was part of enhancing um, our EMC package too. So, on behalf of everybody, okay guys, watch how well trained they are now. Time to stop talking and say goodbye. Bye. Oh God, <laughs> they deliberately did that, okay? You imagine? They deliberately did that. Yeah, so, they're all well trained. So the couple, the happy couple our lovely Cheryl she has been so wonderful this morning I can't give her any trouble dear uh, Lord you notice Nicholas is now in full bloom the coffee is fully cooked uh, Mary uh, <laughs> love and hugs Kim thank you so much she's come out twice so that tells you yes where's the where's the Dimitri said he had to go do some lunch artwork oh okay yeah. okay no problem i understand so from all of us <laughs> including me you see you see i'm so well trained he has to come he has to come each time all right i have him so well trained now he has to come every time so I'm going to take you back out because I think that this view that we had this morning where See, we, we started have, what the switch oh, stay. <laughs> stay on me not into me <laughs> um, I'm taking you back out on this beautiful boardwalk to have a couple of more seconds of don't worry about the great trees guys I got y'all covered yes but to enjoy more of this beautiful coastline so
from all the love from all of us here we hope to see you tomorrow if you can make it we love to see you if not we'll see you on monday morning we send love and hugs to everyone in your life including you most of all you and remember that um, we meet a lot of people on our journey some are brought in our lives to teach us lessons some are brought to make us grow some have been brought to help us heal and you you take what that person brings you enjoy what they bring you love them and you appreciate the journey in your life because everyone comes for a reason a season and to give you a different perspective of where you're going I know that my journey has changed so much in the last two years and in these last couple of weeks it's been truly amazing I look forward every Saturday morning to be with everybody to share my love with history and Barbados and to just see your smiling faces just to see your comments it makes life also worthwhile and as the gentleman who told us earlier in the morning when you can open your eyes and see this glorious sunrise feel the breeze see the ocean be grateful and thankful for another wonderful day so from everybody here who is not close by and from me and from me Thank you so much for being here this morning. I truly love you guys and I truly appreciate it. We have a wonderful day. We, we, you say we, but you guys get it. I'm giving you my love, my yeah. hugs that I we can't are. do on, on, on Saturday morning. It's a virtual physical love and hugs while from, I enjoy from, this from camera me, time. From me as well. From, from, me as well. from, from Nick as well. <laughs> from Jeanette, from Cheryl, from Mary, from Kim, from all of us who do these who are physically present, we send our love and hugs and smooches and kisses. Have a wonderful day, everybody. 20 seconds more of this beautiful ocean and have a wonderful day. And so we're doing part two. Let's do it. We're going. You didn't wear that last time. This is the same one. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. I like because I love it. We're going in the water. We're going in the water. We're going in the water. Gee, Lord, it's warm. It's warm. I like to tell myself it's warm. It's warm. It's warm. Oh my gosh, it's lovely. It's warm, it's warm, it's warm. Good morning, EMC. We're doing part two. We're in the water. Just opposite Coconut Court in the back. We are in the water and it's, it's nice and low tide. But it's, it's a little cool. <laughs> But you know me, I'm going to encourage everybody to come in this water with me because it's nice and warm. Watch me now. Come on, guys. It's warm. Come on, it's warm. All right. Oh, I'm going to splash you, Nicole. No, you're not. No, it is getting bullet in my hand. Definitely not. Uh -huh. So there's a reef in here. Yeah, are you talking? You filming me? Yes, I'm filming oh. you. Oh, it's got a little. Uh, yes. Yeah. Everybody's right coming right back off. We're taking a lovely, lovely, lovely oh. sea bath. After a while, it's warming up. Let me see your expression. Mary, Cheryl, <laughs> and. <laughs> Show them your shot right there, Nicole. Michelle, Mary, What's Mary, um, sorry, Mary, Cheryl, and Jeanette are still sitting on the shore. Looking lovely and waving at us. Oh, sis! Come it's, on in. It's, it's Come lovely to me, and warm. Come to me. Look at that. It's really Come lovely. On. It really is beautiful out here still. 
It's lovely. Cheryl, so, tell her to come. They want me to show you my face. So good morning, everybody. Good to see you again. We're doing our usual dosa on Saturday morning swim. Kim is here in the water. Hello, hello. Nick is here. And we're I'm all Nick. having a I'm good Nick. time. Hi. This is Kim. I'm Kim. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Nicole. Yeah. yeah. Just in case you didn't know. So any Saturday morning that you are free, you can come down and join us. If you don't make the full walk, you can always come in time for the sea bath because we're always here another 45 minutes and you kind of enjoy it. it it's, it's, it's lovely. It's, very, very lovely. <laughs> Jackie would enjoy this water. Hey, bear camera time hard in here, by the way. Just saying. So, ah, so we're in this beautiful location. Look at that. And it's just so lovely and that serene. And just like how it felt this morning when it was laughing. Not of selfie time. No, no, no. Self time also lovely and sweet. Yeah, you missed out. <laughs> but, but just as it was lovely and serene this morning it is really cool and calming out here it's really lovely yeah and so it's low tide so we have to be fairly out from shore to kind of get some depth and it's really sandy but this area is a lovely area for if you have small children perfect or like me if you're not a strong swimmer this is just perfect yes so and it has a natural reef so although you see those big lovely um, waves coming in, they break by the reef and then it's just like calm water from there on in. So it's just so beautiful. <laughs> calm water with Nicholas Day. Yes. So this is just another short vlog for y'all to enjoy us in the water, having some great fun, relaxing. Majority of the others are on the shore. Yes. Looking at their cell phones, saying, Nicole and Nick, hurry up. We want to go and get our coffee, our danishes, yeah, our French toast with um, pepper and ketchup. With pepper and ketchup. Correct, correct. And salt, of course. <laughs> and salt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, as they enjoy and we enjoy, we wish you guys a wonderful social. day. We'll see you tomorrow. Reach out. Nick will give you the location again. But it's just, a, if you're on the boardwalk, just keep walking as if you're heading towards KFC or if you're coming down from Rockley, head in the direction of KFC well, and listen, just the Nicole, beyond there. Stop talking. <laughs> yeah, Nicole. And just beyond there, you'll see us relaxing morning. and having morning. a morning. grand morning. time awesome. morning. morning. Yes, good morning. Let him say good morning. Hold on, we have yeah, a camera for you. Yes, morning. morning. He's enjoying, he's enjoying. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you see, and you see how you're good it is? Stars. You see how the children are just perfect out here. It's the perfect location for children. Look at these little ones on the beach enjoying themselves. Isn't that just lovely? That looks like Nicole and how Cheryl will behave when they get near the beach. <laughs> just like that. Same age group. Lord, look at them. Look at them. Those ladies are just sitting there enjoying the beach. So, from the two of us in the water. <laughs> Hello. Hi. The brave people. Kim, yes. Kim was here, but she said it's too cold. Yeah. You know she's from Boston, so she can't handle this kind of cold. So <laughs> that's why. <laughs> you know, people come out tomorrow. We yes. will all be there. Come and yes. spare some time with us and get to meet the family and understand that this is how we are. This is not just on a vlog. This is the real way we yeah, are. Yeah. Don't mind that she annoys me more <laughs> when she's in person, but I, I can take it. He, he misses me. Trust me. He misses me. I, Trust me, but the minute he sees me on Saturday mornings, he's just like totally overjoyed. So he misses me. So yeah. guys, we'll see you later. Have a wonderful day. And I'll give you 20 seconds more of this beautiful scenery. <laughs> scenery, scenery, <laughs> scenery. Nicholas Dean is killing himself and laughing because I'm just like, I've not switched the gimbal at all, okay? This is my moment for fun. After I've done all the history, history, this is the time for fun, so I'll be good. Oh, Lawson, so that baby up there is sulking just like our sulking <laughs> Well, well, well. Yeah, you're right, he's jealous. So, from beautiful Barbados, have a wonderful Saturday. We'll see you tomorrow.
or we'll see you Monday morning. But stay safe and much love to you.